So we have done a foundation twice a week and I've tried out different ones and just seen how, just have seen how they have worn and their finish and their coverage and just kind of giving you my perspective and the little tips and, and insights that I've gotten from doing this. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. And if you are, thanks so much for coming back and joining me today. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we post a video. This is my last review of the month. And what it's gonna be is Taunt Miracle from Lancome. You guys that know me, it is a love of my life. And those of you that don't, you're gonna find out why I love this foundation. So for our very last foundation, for Foundation February is going to be Taunt Miracle from Lancome. And the reason I ended up choosing this foundation for our last foundation is because after trying all of these, I still love it. This is gonna be hard for me because I do love this foundation and I want to be fair when I'm discussing it with you because it may not be perfect for you, but you know, I love it. I really, really love it. So I wanna discuss just a little bit about it. It is, so on the coverage there, Lancome puts these little dots and it has three dots. So I'm saying it is more of a medium and you can get, I can get a pretty full coverage out of it. And those three dots tell me that I can. I mean, it kind of makes sense. So yet, you can be supernatural with it too. That's the brilliance about this foundation. It is lit from within makeup, natural skin perfection. And before I get into reading what it's all about, I do have to discuss. So the last three days I have had the worst allergic reaction. So my face is a little red. I'm a little self-conscious to be honest with you. My eyes were super swollen. I didn't even know if we were gonna film this week because I looked like from another planet. So bear with me because I feel really self-conscious to be honest. My skin is super dry and I can't really even pinpoint exactly what it is, but you guys, all of that to say, be careful. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of great anti-aging stuff out there. Just be careful. You know, if you feel something, get it off your face. Okay, back to the foundation. The reason this is so perfect for me today is it is suitable for sensitive skins. I'm just gonna read, cause I like to read off the packaging cause not, we don't always do that. You know, they have all of this writing all over it. And do, do we ever read it all? Probably not. I've never even read this side of the packaging and I learned some things before we even started filming. So now I wanna share them with you. So it's for all skin types. Light not only reflects on the surface, it's absorbed and then remitted from within the skin. Lancome Science decodes the true natural light, giving each complexion the distinctive color and the sparkle of life. So for someone that is wanting no flashback, I don't know if this is the foundation for you, you know? So there's one thing that, that might not be the most positive thing. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the innovation. Perfection through light. Aurora Inside technology works to recreate the boost of skin's natural light. Immediately, the complexion brightens flawless, fresher looking day after day, and it's from within. So the reason that's that makes total sense to me because the more I wear it, the more I love it. Natural weightlessness, that's another thing. Like you don't feel anything when you put it on. 10 times less powdery filters and highly concentrated in water infused with rose extract. A little check if you're allergic to rose or anything like that, this is not the foundation for you. It hydrates for 18 hours, soothes and unifies skin to improve its appearance. The result, your natural light finally recreated, flaws, redness and discolorations virtually disappear, revealing a skin sublimely bare, naturally flawless. 
Color may appear lighter at first, but blends beautifully into the natural skin tone. That's just a little backstory of what Lancome has put into this foundation. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Hopefully it will help with my redness. It says it does, I know it will. That's why I'm doing it. So what's nice is it's pretty watery and I only use one pump. If I, if I do want more coverage, if I'm wanting a fuller coverage, I just go in just with a little bit more. So I've already prepped my skin and primed it. Ooh, okay, so one pump didn't work. Usually one pump works for me, but my skin is like so dry right now that it's grabbing it. Because my skin is so dry, I don't know. The color looks a little off, but this is definitely my color, I know. I wear 260 Bisque One. It just blends so nice. It's taken all that redness out already. And it's an all day wear. It doesn't say, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't say 24 hour wear, but I get an all day wear out of it. We're gonna, we're gonna test it. I say all day, but I've never actually filmed me wearing this foundation. So this will be a true test for sure. Like all the other ones, I've wanted to wear it all day and see what it looks like at the end. You guys, my skin is so dry. I will say the color range, when we come back, I'll have all that of exactly the color range. That would be my only, well, and the flashback, cause you're gonna get flashback. It has an SPF 15 and it's lit with, from within. So it doesn't even claim to, you know, address that. As you guys know, I don't powder. I'll use a setting spray after I get everything on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, you know, put my bronzer and blush on and go along my day and we'll come back here. The good thing though, is as it blends with your skin, it just works. Like I've tried it on people that I think this is not gonna work. I want it to work for them because I think it's the right formula, but I can't find a color. And then all of a sudden, the longer it's on, it like, blend. So maybe that was Lancome's intentions. I feel like if they just had a couple more, a couple more shades, it would be perfect. So I did do Hula and now I'm putting a plum from Lancome on. Not like I need a bunch of pink back in my face because I've been living with redness the last few days, but I'm gonna put a little bit because it's still February and we need a little pink. February, spring, pinks and purples, I love them. And you know what's so crazy is I hated it as a kid. My mother would put me in pink and I just hated it as a little girl and now I love it, maybe because I have a husband and three sons and I don't ever get to put it on anybody but myself. My husband's Cuban, so my boys are half. They, they have more of darker complexion and they look great in pink. So that's Portel. It's my like go-to, I love it. Okay, so my lipstick's blended. I use Portel Lip Liner with Seal the Deal lipstick. And I am ready for the day. You know what, that doesn't look good. I'm changing my lipstick. Okay, this is okay to do, you guys. I'm gonna add, my eyes are a little brown. I was trying to disguise the uh, swollenness that's going on. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this one, Warm Fascination. Ooh, I'm not liking that either. Hold on, I gotta take this off. So sometimes, you get a lipstick on and it's just not the right color. It's not, it was kind of too pink for my eyes. I'm gonna put the Portel back on and use it with a brown. Real life maintenance, people. Real life maintenance. This is inconspicuous. Doesn't that look better? Looks better with my eyes for sure. Cause I just had too much pink going on and my eyes don't really match. So it's still neutral because it has that portel in it and inconspicuous is like a very super 
just a natural color there. I'm going to use, I'm going to have that with it. Yeah, blends much, much better. And you can still do the A-plum blush because I've got the Hoola bronzer like evening that out. So I am ready. I'm going to work for eight hours and then we will come back, see how this lasts. I am going to set it. I'll set it probably with set it and forget it. I'm gonna do all line comb today. Then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, you guys, so we're back and I have worn the foundation all day. And with the exception of my skin just healing, it's done a great job. There are some dry spots that I honestly believe is part of my reaction that happened. So this is a foundation that I am very aware of how it wears. Um, I've actually come home after work and checked in my mirror to see so I can share uh, with people that have wanted to try it. So with the reaction of my skin this week, I do still believe it's a fabulous foundation and it's definitely worth at least getting a sample and trying it out. On that note, that brings us to the quote of the day from Coco Chanel, fashion changes, but style endures. And it's funny because we were just talking about, you know, that classic cat eye line. It will be a look that stands the test of time. I totally believe in that quote that fashion changes but style endures. Thanks for watching and if you got anything out of this video please give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it very much and if you try again if you try any of these foundations let me know because I, I want to know what you guys think you know what I'm saying about it like do we agree. I will see you in a couple days with the review of the whole month. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.